TF Grid 3.0 is launched. If you're ready to switch over from 2.0, it's super easy to do and even easier than setting up your first node. Note that this video is how to do it as of January. There are probably going to be new methods coming out soon. But for right now, this is how to do it and it's not a bad way. Note that this is not for people who own a Titan. There is going to be a special method for them that has not been released yet. Don't fret about switching over to time the TFT price because even one cent can greatly affect your earnings. It's been so volatile this month they're not going to peg us to exactly when we enter the blockchain. There's probably going to be a January early adop adopter rate. Additionally, 3.0 v3 minting rules are not in effect yet so this is kind of just getting ready for that transition don't fret it go ahead and switch biggest benefit of switching to 3.0 is linear earnings your earnings are not going to taper over time due to the difficulty increasing like they would in grid 2.0 this kind of comes with a con, is that your earnings are locked up for 24 months or 30% utilization. I basically consider it mandatory diamond hand modes. I'm not really going to fret it. And I have a couple nodes I can't access to, up, to update. So I'm kind of playing both sides of the field there. Quick aside for anyone running M900s or other Think Centers with a quad core and 64 gigs of RAM, V3 will crash it pretty quick unless you update your BIOS. I struggled for this for a couple days till so I figured it out. Make sure you update your BIOS before trying it or you're just gonna get nowhere. Uh, personally, I had no luck putting this iOS image, ISO image on a USB. So I had to use the Windows disk that comes with a lot of your secondhand office PCs and run the executable file from Windows. You should really update your BIOS anyway since a lot of those newer NVMe drives won't run on the old BIOS. I'm not gonna go through a whole video on how to do it. Um, Leave a comment below if you need any help with that. Let's actually go through the upgrade process. Go to the new portal, I'll put the link below, and install the Polkadot JavaScript extension. Create an account on the extension. Write down your seed phrases. Seed words. Name it. And a password. Okay, go back to the portal, refresh. Allow the application, and there you are. Click on your account, and activate. First thing to do is create a twin. Don't ask me what it is, really don't understand. I left my twin IP as is. Type in your password. This may take a couple tries. This is still very early on this release. There we go. You may get a free TFT. Three, nine cents, amazing.
Now we're going to create a farm. Create farm. We'll call this one bottoms. Farm created. Hooray. With a little down arrow, add a stellar payout address. Add the one from your app. Hit save. Sign transaction. And now click take me to the bootstrap page. Maybe. There we go, address added. Have to do that first, take me to the bootstrap page. Still not working. There we go. Enter your farmer ID. You're just going to be 30. And click on this left one. Production. Download your USB file. Click the first one here. It's definitely fine. Super Chrome. I've already downloaded it, head over to Etcher, there's your file, select your USB, not plugged in, and flash it. Take that USB drive, plug it into your server and boot from it. If you need help from that, check out my earlier video on setting up the server. Um, now I'll show you a greatly sped up installation of the operating system. Don't worry about this warning, it'll go away in about 10 minutes. Here we are, all set up, and we should show up on the Explorer now. Once you're all installed, head back over to the portal and click Capacity Explorer. Go over to the second tab here, sort by farm ID, no, uh, ID, and as of right now, the Explorer is just kind of working. So it might not show up. Uh, looks like right now it's about seven hours behind. I think about a hundred were at it last night. Might have something to do with it. Um, but if on your OS it shows you're connected to your twin and it has all your IP address stuff on there, don't forget it, you're connected. Check back in a day or two, you'll be good to go. So that's how to switch over to 3.0. Even easier than setting up your first node, and just go do it. Uh, a couple of days I'll be setting up a video on how to make a real giant server connect to the network. Keep an eye out for that. Thanks.